On the morning of the 24th of November 2019, the business were notified of a fire incident, which uh, was contained to two areas uh, of our manufacturing, thanks to the modern design of the building. However, the fire which was caused by uh, an electrical fault did cause some significant disruption and resulted in us um, executing our business continuity plan to try and restore some capacity and fulfil our customer commitments. The recovery programme was managed by PM staff. We have a very large, diverse uh, range of skills, uh, which gave us some incredible results. The short ter term plan delivered a 30% machine capacity for the etch room. This was shifted 24 seven and across the Christmas period also. In the medium term, uh, we had to um, increase capacity to meet the forecasted customer demand. We did this by engaging with contractors who were incredible in their response on site within two days. And we plan to uh, erect an annex on the area next to the building. Uh, that was achieved within an 11 week period. And that gave us 67% uh, machine capacity uh, against the original 100% uh, pre-fire. So in total over the two year period, we've invested 5.1 million in improving the plant. Um, it's given us the opportunity to uh, streamline the layout. We've also brought in nine new process machines, which are state of the art. We have established a quality centre of excellence, which we feel in our industry is, is class leading. And really importantly, we've also de-risked by bringing in uh, class leading fire suppression systems uh, to uh, ensure that uh, an incident like this is unlikely to happen in the future. So obviously it was a, a pretty difficult period for the business. Um, customers were incredibly understanding, which, which really helped. And uh, we've kind of come out of this with a, with a fantastic plant, um, which is state of the art and, and we believe truly world class.